hello guys and welcome back to the channel right now on your screens i am uh, you are looking at my rad power 5 which i upgraded and uh the build of course is still not complete so i got a couple of components to upgrade the bike and make it uh, bring it to where i want the bike to be uh, the first thing i did was i upgraded the saddle and these are brand new takeoffs from uh uh, I got from my local bike store and this is uh, these are very comfortable uh, seats and uh, very well made high quality but obviously people buy bikes and they want to upgrade their seats so I was able to uh, score this one for a reasonable price it's basically the uh, same price you would get for a higher end saddle from Walmart uh, brick and mortar stores so I think it was a good win second thing i did was i upgraded the controller and uh i bought the controller the 35 amp controller is it 35 or 36 let's look here let's just call it the 35 amp controller let's call it that way i think it's 35 or 36 amp uh, which is a step up from what you would have from rad power bikes what it does is it allows the battery uh it can pull more power from the battery and send it out to the motor uh, the stock controller i think is 25 amps so it doesn't have that much power that it can uh, pull and send to the motor i bought a combination so the controller and also the digital screen uh, which is an upgrade this one is a color screen as you guys can see and uh, these still have to be configured I just looked online, saw some configurations that people said worked and that is what I used on the bike. I ran with that. So the problem I'm having now is um, when I try to use the throttle only, I hear the motor spinning, but the bike doesn't move. So uh, another thing I got was I got the upgraded battery. Oh, sorry about the noise, guys. My AC is, uh, is, going, is going out. So I got the 20 amp hour, a uh, yep, 20 amp hour battery. And also I got the XT60 to XT90 adapter. So you can get all these components either from Area 13 bikes or also from Electro Bike World. Uh, check them and you would find one or the other will have uh, a better price. For example, these, I got them used. Uh, I think they look almost brand new, so they should be almost, uh, you know, brand new takeoffs. Let's take a look. You guys can see what they look like. So I am assuming that this is what is out on this bike. Uh, let me, uh, that AC is quite noisy. I was going to try to fire it up so you guys can see for yourself what it does. So let's go ahead and still try to do that. See if it, uh, you guys can hear the motor running so the bike is on and to use the throttle only on these bikes you have to press on the red button and then twist the throttle so i'm sure you guys can hear the motor running but the bike doesn't move so i'll take it out to the shop remove the rear tire and then uh, proceed with the next step of the process So here we have the bike ready to remove the uh, rear tire. It's gonna be an 18 millimeter. Get it loose as far as you can. I already did this side. If you guys can see. All right, I'll be back after I get the tire out. So I took out, I took out the protector there and was able to pull the wheel out very quick process took just about five minutes so now we will take the wheel inside and disassemble the wheel uh, remove all those screws around and swap those uh, nylon gears catch you guys inside so now we have a wheel in position just put it on the horse and uh, Next, we'll try to see if we can get a screwdriver to fit. It's kind of tight. It's really tight. I might have to 
uh, use a Dremel tool to push down a little bit on this, but uh, I'll give it a shot first and see what works. So it wasn't easy at all. What I did, I actually took out my, uh, I took out a drill and then I widened that, I deepened that just ever so slightly. I don't think I'll be using this granny gear much, but I deepened that just a little bit to give me better purchase on the screws as I uh, went around the wheel. Also, I used just a tiny amount of PB blaster uh, just to uh, make sure the area around the rim of the screw was not rusted uh, down. And that I think helped just a little bit. So now I have all one, two, three, four, five, six screws uh, started. And so I will take them out. Yeah, it was tedious. Uh, you just have to take your time and go very slowly. I used a different screwdriver with a smaller profile so it can fit in there a bit better. So I will just go ahead and take out all of the screws. So we got all screws out. Now it's the moment of truth. We're going to pop this up and see how it goes. See if we can have some light here. Um, I turn these on. That's much better. So let's see if this will come right out. I might have to tap on the other end to make it pop out. So we'll do that. So I was able to break it loose. All what I did, remember, you don't take off uh, the brake disc. You just make sure this knot, you walk it out to the point where uh, you could not damage the thread and then I smashed it against the hard metal surface and now I can see the motor which is right there so we'll pull this out uh, something is binding oh <laughs> I gotta take this off got that out so let's go ahead and pull this out there you go some water damage you can see the moisture and the gears almost seem to be in good condition but We'll change them out anyway. So clean that out and uh, clean the gears and drop everything back inside. So I don't know how much waterproof all of this is. As you guys can see, there's a, a, a significant amount of rust and I almost felt like washing everything down. Uh, if you look at the gear tip, they don't look like they have any issue. But if you look very closely, you will notice uh, the top of those uh, gears, they are chewed down. They are much shorter than what they should be. And this is what the replacement gear looks like. Barely used compared to this one that has shortened teeth and some damaged teeth. So what I did, I used a chisel and uh, a, a BFH and then I just knocked slowly on the uh, this device and it slowly slid out so it's keyed as you guys can see right there that's the key i'll just wipe everything down replace with this and hopefully we should be good to go and here you guys can have a better view of uh, what the wheels look like that's what i'm replacing with this i hope they're the same size they should look like the same size so hopefully it works and uh, i got this from 
area 13 cycles but i think you can get a brand new one from um electro bike weld so those are the two major aftermarket uh, sellers of components for the rad rover and the upgrade components so i'll just wipe everything down I, i'll check here if i have any silicon grease and that's what i'll use otherwise <laughs> i might end up putting petroleum grease on there so be back all right guys it's getting kind of late here so we have everything back together um put back the protector there tighten everything up i didn't have the white silicon grease so i just used the regular uh, silicon lubricant and now is the moment of truth to test out everything and see if it works so again like i said initially i could uh, almost run the other gears uh, but now uh, let's see here i'll have to hook up these two xt 60 connectors one for the uh, battery and the other one to the con oh! controller sorry about that it makes loud popping sounds so now we have everything hooked up uh, the bike is quite heavy i don't know if i'll be able to hold it in place so there we have the beautiful color controller uh, screen sorry you move over this way and see with throttle down oh it works so that was my problem guys uh those gears were literally chewed up but they were chewed up such that you could not really see exactly uh how bad it was they seemed to be fine but the teeth had been chewed down so now the bike actually works so let me stop here come to the other side and uh, jump jump on so we can go for a test right here put up the kickstand i still have things a bit rough with held in place with zip ties man these bikes are big and they're heavy you guys saw i had to use my motorcycle stand uh. all right let's see if we can get going here red button down throttle up and there we go <laughs> it works it's alive sweet <laughs> yeah after a few miles i will have to stop and readjust things i actually increased the pressure in the tires and uh yeah it runs great guys what a joy <laughs> yeah this is so much more better than my other electric bike uh, i'll be doing a video here for you guys to see yeah this is just so much more awesome Sweet. i don't know if this has regen or i have to program it in but already i'm impressed and i'm so glad we stop here obviously i still have to adjust the brakes so there you go guys runs amazing and uh, i'll have to look for a proper house for uh, the battery i got this from walmart i think you just push something underneath and it flashes like that so i still have to look for a proper housing for the battery um the the this rest, rest rare uh, carrier i got it from walmart and somebody had taken out one of the uh, bolts and not so i'll have to fix that also and this is the charge port so i'll just have to make everything tidy and uh yeah i'm impressed everything works now i just have to go and make sure the uh, brake is not binding and uh of course obviously one of my upgrades would be to go full hydraulic on the brakes thanks guys let me know what your thoughts are on the, this uh, uh, change of uh, the nylon gears and uh, what your experience has been okay bye now